is Semi. She fell in love with Claudio. I'm 60 and Semi is 24. The couple met on the dating site, Seeking Arrangements. Seeking is a website where you can date an affluent partner. And were soon enjoying a luxurious life together. But Claudio's daughters were wary of the match. They told me, Dad, please don't date women younger than us. While online claims have been made about Semi's true intentions. She's after your money. She's a gold digger. Be careful. <laughs> a literal disgrace. Today, Semi's friends will finally tell the couple what they really think of their relationship. I was concerned maybe he was going to kidnap her. I'm Semi. I'm Claudio. We're in love. And we're in a 35-year age gap relationship. I'm 60 and Semi is 24. We've been together for six years. Yes. I met Semi when she was 18. We met on a dating site called Seeking Arrangements. Seeking is a website where you can date an affluent partner. I had been happily married for 18 years and I was newly single. I just thought I want to date someone that's not going to be very demanding. I saw Semi's profile. I messaged her. I said, hey doll. I've always been interested in somebody older than me. I needed an active partner. For me, this is the perfect age gap. We got a lot of judgment. Not only are we interracial, but there is quite a massive age gap. So there's been times where like I'm standing waiting for some service and he's not at the table yet and I'm getting looked past. As soon as he sits down, service is like picks up really quick. People yeah. are looking. They're like, what is, what's going on here? The judgment we receive online is crazy. It's a lot of hate comments, and I feel like more hate comments towards me. Which are gold digger, you're only in it for the money. We do also TikTok lives, and a lot of comments, judgmental comments come through. We're gonna name this one Don't Judge. Yeah. Ha. Good morning, everybody. Do, 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 do. All right. He must have money. That's the <laughs> truth. To have a girl like Sammy, you gotta have money. Get the bag, sis. Of course, the bag got me. If I'm gonna dig for something, it's not gonna be for dirt. I'm gonna dig for gold, so I laugh at that. I mean, of course, we're all gold diggers. I mean, no one's out there digging for pebbles. It doesn't bother me one bit because I know Sammy and I know our relationship, so I know what's going on. Sad, a literal disgrace. <laughs> blink, blink twice if you need help. My eyes are gonna dry out. <laughs> <laughs> Am I your stepdaddy? No, you're not my stepfather, and you're younger than my father. Mm -hmm. You're younger than my daughter. Mm -hmm. I have two daughters. Uh, now they're age 33 and 34. I have five grandchildren. It was a little <laughs> controversial, and there were some judgments there. My daughters told me, Dad, please don't date women younger than us. So that was easy when, when my daughters were 23 and 24. That was easy. But then as the daughters got into their 30s, that wasn't gonna work. When they met Sammy, then they warmed up to Sammy, but I was worried at first. They were like kind of hard to get to know. I feel like they had their walls up. Now we have a great relationship. I love playing with their children. I call them my grandkids. We do get positive comments. And of course, there's people that love to celebrate our relationship. There's people that can watch the TikToks and see through it. And I am taking things that people say to me, all the hate, and I turn it into light comedy that everybody can laugh at. They keep saying you using me, sweet pea. It's okay, we use each other. So here in this room, we have all of my bags. Some of my favorites would include one of these Hermes I have for. Here, I really, really love this bag. This is Louis Vuitton. What is an outfit without a good pair of Gucci sunglasses? I love me my Gucci's. These are Cartier love bracelets, some Hermes. I love shopping, taking semi-shopping to the fancy stores. It's always exciting. I think we do one big like haul shopping spree once a month, but he doesn't know it, but I'm shopping all the time. I like traveling. Yeah. So my favorite part of the relationship is the traveling. We were just in Hawaii, Dominican Republic, and it's always like five-star accommodations, if I do say so myself. Sometimes I gotta rain semi in, but mostly, if I think it's a good value, we're gonna make the purchase. Okay, honey, I'm gonna go pick you out an outfit for tonight. We have dinner soon, okay? Awesome. I bought this shirt for him at his favorite store. I think this wow. one's stellar. Sweet pea got me some sugar. 
Isn't that so nice? Huh, something tells me I'm still paying. Yeah, dad jeans gotta go. <laughs> yeah. At first. I only told my immediate friends. At the beginning, they were like, he's old. What do you guys have in common? He just wants you because you're young. He wants you because you're naive. But all in all, they ended up being supportive, but I was worried. Sam and Spence are both my best friends. Tonight, me and Claudio want to have a dinner with Spence and Sam and just talk about our relationship and their reservations. They first thought I was crazy when I first said, hey guys, listen, I'm on this new journey. I'm tired of dating losers. I'm gonna date a rich, affluent man. I was so concerned about Semi when she told us that she was dating an older man. I was asking her, Semi, your location, what's his guy's full name? It was just like so many questions in my head. I was so concerned. I was concerned because I don't know if he was actually a good guy or not, and maybe he was gonna kidnap her when they went on vacation or something. What's up, guys? What's up? Hi. All right. Yeah, dinner time. Spence, what's up? I missed you guys. Well, how have you guys been? We've been really good, guys. It's like upcoming our sixth year. Is it six years already, honey? Oh well, God. speaking of which, how did you guys feel about us when we first started? Holy <laughs> crap. Honestly, girl, I was very scared at really? first. I was very skeptical. I thought you were about to run this old guy for his money. Yeah? Yeah, I really oh did. I thought I was I just gonna take the money and leave. Gold digger. You thought she was a gold digger. It was weird at first, but then I met you, and yeah. then I saw you guys, the way you acted together, it was just like, so crazy and a different. Fairy tale. I, I was like, wait, she actually Sammy likes him. Sammy yeah, Sammy. I know. I'm really Sammy happy. loves him so much. Well, it's like living the and teenage not... dream being with yeah. you. Like you're like happy, you're young, like yeah. money's never an issue. Anything I can imagine is just like at the tip of my fingers. And I get to do it with my best friend. And it Aww. keeps getting better and better. You guys are the best. Yeah. Cheers to Sammy. Yeah, you. thank you so much. Do -do -do. You guys are the best. Thanks thank, for not thank you, us, guys. thank you, Sam and Spence. Yeah, judgmental at first, but <laughs> luckily, <laughs> yes. luckily the judgmental went away. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So the first time I ever heard Sam say she thought you were only in it for the money. Me too. That was huge for me. Wow. But I could understand her logics, right? Old guy, young girl. I, I could understand that totally. I love that they're approving, especially with the judgment that we get. It's nice to know that the people closest to us actually understand and like see our love. In age gap relationships, you're always gonna have judges, but just be unapologetically yourself and show them exactly why their judgments are wrong. And always strive to make a mutually beneficial relationship, no matter what relationship you're yeah. in. I'm not sure what the future holds, but I hope it holds. <laughs> A ring. Right, that's a good question. What does the future hold? Time will tell.